Welcome back to Two Riders. Today we are having the lunch portion of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 24-hour uh, ration. It's a big lunch. We've got a couple of mains. We've got a uh, buckwheat and pea porridge. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold. And we've got uh, peas and beef. No, I'm sorry, this is buckwheat soup and pork. This is the peas and beef. Numerous crackers and other things. We're going to get right to it after the introduction. Stick around. So here we have everything. We're going to break it down. Once again, no flameless ration heaters. So we're um, heating up a pot of water. This is our buckwheat with pork. Buckwheat's very common in um, Ukraine. Buckwheat's a crop that's really not wheat. It's, uh, but it, it's not even a, a cereal, I don't believe, but uh, it, it's used like a cereal. One thing about buckwheat is it'll grow in very nitrogen poor soils. So if you've got some land and you don't have a extra money for nitrogen fertilizer, buckwheat's a great crop. It also grows in about 10 weeks from planting till harvest. And so if you're growing two crops, buckwheat's a good uh, first crop. And then over here we've got peas and beef. Nice retort pouches. We've got some very dark crackers here. Got some of the same crackers we had last time. And uh, this is actually partially written in, uh, in English too. We got some uh, black tea, a wet nap, a pretty nice portion of uh, apple jam. I think that's going on the lighter crackers. These look more like dark rye. Got a napkin and spoon. like the breakfast, a very large portion of uh, sugar, and I'm going to use that whole thing in the tea because that's the way that they do it. And then uh, we've gotten salt and pepper. So we'll, uh, we'll start, and I'm not using a normal tray because these are, <laughs> these kind of flood. Uh, I'm going to put these into a bowl and just eat them, uh, eat them out of a bowl with, uh, but I'll use the spoon. And uh, the crackers, I'll eat off of a paper plate today. So. Uh, hang tight, we'll be right back. Well, we're going to get started here. The uh, tea pack, if you look at it, is uh, listed as quality tea. It's a different spelling, but it does say English breakfast tea premium blend in English. And on the back, it's pretty much all Ukrainian. Uh, this was packed apparently in April of 2020. So just over three years old. And as you would expect, you got a nice little tea bag. I've got a fair amount of hot water. This, uh, well, and there goes the tag into the into the cup. And I don't think the tag adds any extra flavor. I'm gonna fish that out. A big portion of sugar here. I did weigh the uh, the mains, the uh, the beef and peas, and the uh, the pork and buckwheat together. They are one pound fifteen ounces. That's uh pretty heavy. It's much uh, much heavier meal, almost twice as much food as the uh, the breakfast meal. These are in fact rye crackers, and those are going to be crushed up and put into the uh, the. the Porridges and stews and things like that that we've got. But while the tea is steeping, get one of these crackers and apple jam. Showing a green apple. Uh, Granny Smith is, you know, the most common green apple you can see in the U.S. But there are literally uh, hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands, of 
apple varieties across the world and they're probably using something a little different than a Granny Smith. But it's apple jam. Mm. It's got a very nice, uh, nice sweet flavor. It's not tangy at all, not acidic. And once again, most of the sugar in this meal it's what's in that teacup. But this would be a nice little start. Or if you wanted to do it as a dessert at the end of your meal. But I kind of like to have a little sweet thing here to start it. Dip this in the tea and see. It softens it up a little. Hmm. A little bit. The napkin. It's sort of the texture of a paper towel. If you hear the timer in the back, that means the mains have been heating for around the suggested eight minutes. So, about time to take that tea bag out, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the peas and beef. And again, these retort pouches are really well done. That's mm, got a nice that beef has got a nice smell to it. Let's see how this looks in the bowl. It almost looks like uh, rather than peas, it almost looks like white beans. I'm going to see if I can give you instant translation with the translation app here. Uh, morning. Hold on a second. Composition. Dried parsley, dried paprika, black pepper, broad beans. So what they're calling peas might be broad beans. That's kind of what it looks like. See, kind of nice white beans, not exactly navy beans, but the beef has a little fat on it. It's full chunks of cut up. Mmm, very tasty beef. This is definitely a very hearty meal. And that's the smaller of the two. This is going to be a very filling lunch, but you know, depends how many or how many calories you're expending during the day. You might, uh, and not having any other beverages, the soup is going to give you a lot of uh, your your liquid intake. Good English breakfast tea. It's a pretty big cupful. Because I'm looking for hydration, not just uh, flavor. So we're gonna eat this, and uh, in a few minutes we'll get back 
to the next portion. Hold on. So here we go with the second main, and I, I will make a comment on the first one. The um, it was very slow cooked. It was a very creamy flavor uh, that the beans, once they cooked and broke down, gave to the whole thing. Um, I tossed the I've tossed the wrapper, and I don't want to pull it out. This one in the translator shows that it's about 540 calories. Uh, what you've got is pork, well, water, pork, potatoes, then the uh, buckwheat grouts. You've also got some carrot, peas, a little bit cooked down, paprika, bay leaf, uh, parsley, salt, and pepper. And um, this is a this is the heavier of the two rations. This thing weighs. Let's take a look at it on its own. Yeah, it's one pound and uh, one and a half ounces. So, again, it's. I like the uh, retort pouches that are cut across the top like this. I like the older U.S. rations that are cut this way. It's just easier to get into. And this is definitely more of a uh, soup or porridge, a lot more water. And I'm going to try to not make a giant mess here as I scoop some out. Definitely. Big time porridge, so what you're looking at. Got pieces of pork, buckwheat, big chunks of potato. Neither of these meals have I put salt or pepper in. They're totally adequate with the salt that's in there. Potatoes are nice. Look at that pork. That's this has got a lot more meat in it than the first main did. Mmm. And so tender. Reminds me of a, a pork knuckle that you might get at a uh, at a beer hall in Germany. That is a hearty soup right there. And because there's a fair amount of water that's adding to the weight, I'm going to eat the whole thing. I might not be ready for another meal for a long time, but got some more of our apple jam on the crackers. And while we're doing it, Might as well go ahead and put, yeah, this is a, holy cow, <laughs> these rye crackers are really, really hard and crisp. Yeah, this is not something you would want to just try to gnaw on. Definitely, this needs, uh, needs liquid. You could, you could easily break a tooth on this stuff. Wow. We're going to do this, and uh, we'll come back at the end and just a few more notes. Stick around. So a couple final thoughts on the Armed Forces of Ukraine lunch. <clears throat> the first thing is that um, the dark rye crackers are, uh, are definitely not something you want to eat on your own. They, they are best as uh, sopping up uh, broth. Uh, the second thing is that the salt and pepper, unless you have a, a real... <laughs> lack of salt in your diet. Both those uh, courses had plenty of salt. It was probably about a thousand calories altogether between the uh, the two the two mains and I am stuffed. I'm going to be stuffed for a while. Nice tea, plenty of sugar for it. The uh, the apple jam was very good. The uh, the buckwheat is like little pearls, uh, a little bit bigger than tapioca and um, it added a nice amount of texture to the the, uh, the pork and pork and buck, buckwheat uh, porridge there. Um, the potatoes, there were a lot of potatoes that dumped out when I first dumped it out. There were fewer potatoes at the end, but good, uh, good balance between the potatoes and the buckwheat. Everything was thoroughly, um, thoroughly cooked. The pork was fall apart delicious. And the other ingredients they list, paprika and uh, parsley and bay leaf and all, those, that was sort of a very undertone. That was a, wasn't that noticeable. Uh, we have one more meal on this 
trifecta. We've got the dinner, and that'll be coming up. But if you get your hands on any uh, Ukraine rations, this is my first one, and it's uh, very good. The only thing unusual is that even though the translation on the front of the package says to heat it up with a, a flameless ration heater or in a pot of water, uh, there have been no flameless ration heaters in the first two meals. So we'll see if anything shows up different in the dinner meal. Meantime, hit like if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see these as soon as they come out. Comment if you like. Uh, if you've got a question or a comment, I'd appreciate it, and I, I try to get back to everybody. And thanks again for watching.